Hello everyone, it's Patricia and welcome to Tester Tuesday. And Tester Tuesday is a weekly series of review videos for Sensi that I do to use up testers, get feedback to you guys. And the fun part is it's an interactive process because everybody votes on the scents I'm gonna warm each week. So last week we had 270 votes that came in on time. So that's great, thank you so much. In the first place, we have a pretty white colored wax with a blue front. This is called Honeymoon Hideaway. And this is returning in the Bring Back My Bar in June. So it's no wonder that you guys picked it. This one had 35% of the vote. In second place, I have my wax in my wax dish. This is a very pretty purple color wax called Be Still. And that one had 26% of the vote. So let's talk about our first place scent this week. It is Honeymoon Hideaway. Like I said, white colored wax. On Cold Sniff, this is about a light to medium fragrance. And it was last available in the spring and summer of 2019. It was available all year, every catalog until that time. I, I don't remember when it first came out and I didn't look back, but it's in the floral section and last available at the end of August, 2019. So the scent description for Honeymoon Hideaway, it says escape to a secluded retreat of dew kissed lily and tart sweet kiwi shaded by lush coconut palm. So I definitely can smell lily. I'm not sure about kiwi. It doesn't really smell like coconut, but it smells like a fresh tropical floral medley of beautifulness. It's a wonderful scent. It smells great. It's one of those scents that's hard to describe. It's not as sunscreeny um, as palm trees and ocean breeze, but it gives you that same feel of like being in a tropical place. It's beautiful florals, beautiful fruits, all combined into a wonderful fragrance. So let me tell you, I love this scent for scent appeal. Let me show you all the items I have. I have a room spray. I have a travel tin, a scent circle, a scent pack, and I even have an old counter clean. So if that doesn't tell you how much I love this scent, I don't know what will, but, there's a butt. <laughs> Here are all my testers. I used up all of these and I used up half a bar. The performance on Honeymoon Hideaway in wax when warmed was my very first Scentsy disappointment. I remember I put it in my warmer when I was a brand new customer. I remember thinking, I can't smell anything. Maybe it's the warmer. <laughs> I was like, no one wants performance issues <laughs> on their honeymoon at all. So and I tried different things, I couldn't really get much out of it. Now that I've been a consultant for a while, I know that this one has a reputation of being a tricky scent. Some people can smell it, other people can't smell it at all. I would say on the most part, it is a lighter scent. Personally, I'm not one of the chosen ones that can smell it very well. So let me tell you how I did <laughs> with all this stuff. I'm gonna try to do it briefly because I warmed it in six spots. Okay, so the first spot I warmed it was, I warmed a tester in my son Ryan's room. Strength and throw was about two out of 10. I'm not gonna tell you how long everything lasted because if it only was two out of 10, does it even matter how long it lasted? <laughs> um, he has a 25 watt Spider-Man ceramic warmer and a small room, so. Then I also took two testers, big size, <coughs> party, and I put them in my daughter's room. She has a 25 watt beacon, which is a ceramic warmer. It was like one out of 10 there. What happened was I took wild black cherry out after many days and it still <laughs> must have been lingering in the room because all I could smell was wild black cherry with a hint of honeymoon hideaway. So I took, uh, I think I took two or two, two testers or two of these, I can't remember, and I put it in a, a 15 watt hot plate here in my bedroom, a non sensey brand 15 watt hot plate. So I thought, Okay, well that's probably gonna get a little hotter, just a touch hotter. It wasn't the greatest here either, two or three out of 10. I took two cubes and put them in my kid's bathroom. There's two 15 watt mini warmers there and I thought, because it's a small space, let me try it there. So it was about four to five out of 10. So I had a bath in, in their bathroom because I, in my room I have a shower stall only. And when I came out of the bath, I could smell it. But most times you couldn't really smell it. All right, so then I thought, <clears throat> let's up the ante a bit. <laughs> I have a 20 watt hot plate from Yankee Candle. So I took 
two cubes and I put it in there. And that was in my TV room. I would say I got it between a four and five out of 10 there. So I'm starting to get a little bit more scent. And the place that did the best was my downstairs child's room, but I kind of cheated, definitely cheated. I took my hottest warmers, short of tea lights, I would say, but I took my um, two 24 watt hot plate warmers. Now those things get so hot that you can't even pick up the dish. I use them a lot if I'm gonna warm vendor wax. So I put, actually I put, I had three of these left. Three, so I took one and a half and put it one and one and a half and put it in the other. One was in his bathroom, one was in his bedroom. I could smell it there. I would say it was about seven out of 10 and I left it going 15 hours. It gradually tapered. It still had a little bit of scent at the 15 hour mark, but it was nighttime and I do not like leaving those warmers on at night because they're, to me, they're not safe. That is why I love Scentsy, it's very safe. But this particular scent for me needs a lot of heat. Maybe if I would have tried multiple cubes, that might have helped, but I thought I'm just gonna try hotter warmers. So that seemed to work for me. Do I suggest you do that? No, maybe you're one of those chosen ones that can smell it <laughs> without all that heat. But I think if you're someone that likes maybe ivy and water lily, like palm trees and ocean breeze, if you've had um, been fortunate to smell that one, maybe even palm beach breeze, you would probably like this. I find they're all in that same feel. Oh, so good. <laughs> I think I'm just going to keep this and smell these <laughs> cubes without warming them. I think I'll get better get her better results that way. But yeah, I would say small spaces are your best bet and use your hottest warmer that you have and that would be the best combo in my opinion. Be careful if you're picking up the scent, be ready to fiddle around with it and be ready that you may not smell the greatest. And I just wanna say on Instagram, I put a post up and I think 53 people answered the little um, dial. I basically said, how well can you smell this scent? And it was about a four and a half out of 10, I would say the average answer. And nine people put it all the way to the end that they could smell it perfectly at 100%. And there was about five or six that put it at zero. And then there were many places in between. I would also say that three people private messaged me and those three people did not have very good luck with Honeymoon Highway. One, one other point to this whole thing, so I don't ramble forever and ever, is that my son Ryan smelled this and he said, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful scentsy scent. I love it. Can we put that in my room? And I said, I already had it in your room. And he goes, Oh, <laughs> so that is Honeymoon Hideaway. Real, will I repurchase? It will be in my Bring Back My Bar Kit and I will probably use that one and this and then I'm done with Honeymoon Hideaway. I will enjoy the other products that I have and maybe at some point they'll bring back the counter clean in that one and that is Honeymoon Hideaway. Kind of a sad disappointment. All right, so let's talk about our second place scent this week. It is Be Still, this pretty violet colored wax. On cold sniff, this was about a light to medium fragrance. Here are my testers. And I believe, sorry, it looks like I'm giving you the finger there. I believe that this was available around 2012 because I saw someone did a review. And I would say this is, it's almost like a spa scent, although we don't have that. It's like a clean spa, slightly woodsy scent. I'll read you the scent description. It says, unwind as light mandarin, soft violet petals, and creamy sandal tree envelop your senses and quiet your mind. I don't smell any mandarin at all. <laughs> I smell the violet. I originally thought it was chamomile before I knew what the scent notes were. And I smell a little bit of dustiness, which I assume is the sandal tree. It actually smells like a little bit of soapiness. It smells like one of those pretty soaps that you would go into your grandmother's bathroom and she's got them all displayed and there's one that looks like a seashell <laughs> and is purple and that's what this is. It smells a little bit, not clean, almost like a dusty lavender, soapy chamomile scent to me. So this is my first time warming Be Still. I took these three cubes, or these three testers, excuse me, which is about two cubes, and I warmed it here in my bedroom in my pressed tin warmer. And I would say I enjoyed this scent at about a seven out of 10 intensity on day one. Day two was about four and a half to five. Uh, and I left it going three days, 33 hours. So I was happy with this because I could actually smell this one. <laughs> I think if you're like, if you like coastal sunset and you take away the coconut, this might be somewhat similar, but you need a tiny bit of soapiness. So 
I think this would be really good in bedrooms or bathrooms or a kid's like nursery or a young child's room. I don't, normally I would put something like this in the laundry room, but it, it doesn't have enough punch to stand up to laundry scents if you were doing the laundry. So keep that in mind. But Be Still was it an enjoyable scent. Is it something that kind of blew me out of the water? No. Would I repurchase it? Probably not, but I wasn't displeased with it at all. And that is Be Still. Okay, so let's move to the portion of the video where I'm, I'm going to draw six cents from the box. And you guys are going to vote for two different cents by early Wednesday morning down in the comments section below of YouTube. And if you cannot vote on YouTube, find my Instagram post and put your votes there. It's Patricia Gates. So remember, we are featuring a Bring Back My Bar returnee each week. So I'm going to put scent number one as Mulberry Bush. This is coming back in June. So that is going to be scent number one. Set number two, let's root around. Set number two is going to be white grapefruit. Set number three is simply strawberry. Set number four, baked apple pie. Set number five, Forever Yours. And set number six is Summer Sunset. So let's review the scents for the week. Your voting options are Mulberry Bush, returning in June as the Bring Back My Bar. White Grapefruit, a retired citrus scent from about two years ago. Simply Strawberry, in the Simply line, quite a few years ago. Baked apple pie, a bakery scent that's current in the catalog. Forever Yours, that is a retired scent. I've never smelled that one at all. Well, I smelled it, but I haven't warmed it. And scent number six is Summer Sunset, and that is also retired. So as always, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Don't forget to vote, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video.